Crafty Fans! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to share with you my top 5 favorite sewing projects that I ever did here on my channel. The other day, I reached 22,000 subscribers. And yeah, to celebrate that, I am going to share with you my top 5 favorite sewing projects. This is actually a tag video. Um, I watched Whitney Sews. Um, if you don't know Whitney Sews, I'm going to have her channel link in the description box below. If you like my channel, you will like her channel as well because she does, yes, sewing tutorials. And yeah, her tutorials are really, really helpful. It was very helpful to me when I was learning how to sew. So now I am doing my own sewing tutorials. I know how to sew before, but I just didn't have, you know, I just didn't have the courage to do it. But then finally one day I decided to do it. Actually, my very first sewing video was a was a dress that I turned into a maxi skirt. Just the quality was really, really bad. I got a lot of hate comments on that video, but it didn't bother me. I went forward and keep doing what I love. So today I'm going to share with you my top 5 favorite sewing projects. So, so the number 5 is this blue dress right here. Absolutely love this dress. I love the print, I love the color and the fit and plus it has a it has a princess cut. That's why I really really like it. That was the first time that I ever did a princess cut dress and yeah it turned out so well and that is my favorite dress i wear it every time like last summer that's probably the only dress that i wore every saturday and i wasn't even kidding i wear that all the time that's my favorite favorite dress and it's very flattering the skirt portion of the dress is actually a half circle skirt and it's also a jersey material so it is very comfy and it is very um it's perfect for hot texas heat <laughs> so number four is it's a tie because i just can't decide which one that's why i decided okay it's a tie so these are my two number four favorite um yellow dresses i absolutely love yellow i didn't realize that until one day I watched the movie About Time and I fell in love with Mary's outfit. Like all of her outfits in that movie are like so beautiful. But this one right here, the one that has a lace on the top just stood out and I thought it looks really, really cute. And then I recreated it. I was actually so nervous because that was the first time that I actually did a, um, uh, what do you call this, a zipper, a dress that has a zipper. So the yellow dress is this one. Uh, this yellow dress is also very flattering. Um, this was actually, it used to be a maxi skirt, turned it into a dress, but it was just like a long wrap maxi skirt. Only thing that I didn't like was like on the back of the dress, there was like a contrasting print. The back, it looks kind of weird because the back, the pattern doesn't match on the back, but the front is really, really pretty. So one of these days, if I have the chance, if I don't get too lazy, I might take that. I might fix that. The number three is this peplum top right here. I just like it. I just love the fabric. I just love how um, how flattering it is. Uh, yeah, it's basically just like a short. Um, it's like a shorter version of the yellow dress that has white piping instead of a skirt. I turn it into a peplum. So yeah, peplum top is really really. Uh, flattering it's actually really good if you pair it with like a pencil skirt so it will hide the unnecessary bumps here and there this is the first time that I ever attempt to attach or sew a side zip like side zip right here yeah and it turned out so well surprise yes I just absolutely love it when my project turned out so well when it's my first time doing it so number two is this dress right here and it's the pleated dress and it's vintage style in this project I actually figured out like oh if I do a smaller pleats you know like a two inches wide pleats it will actually make me smaller but if you do a bigger pleats it's going to make you wider because my other one i i made a similar dress in black but the pleats the box pleats are about this big about this wide so that would be like probably four inches and every time i wear it it makes me look so wide that's why it's not in my favorite list but if i, if I made it like a smaller box pleats it's going to be my favorite because 
I just love the dress. It's so pretty when I wear it because of the fabric, the eyelet. Here, let me just insert it right here so you can see what I'm talking about right here. This dress right here. Yes, you will be surprised what my number one is. Is this dress right here. Yeah, it used to be a skirt, a maxi skirt to be exact. And then I turned it into a beautiful dress. I absolutely love the print and the color that's why it's my number one and plus it was so easy to make i cannot believe it that i actually turned a maxi skirt into a beautiful dress because it was like so flattering i was actually thinking of wearing it right now but i was just like ah maybe i'll just keep it simple just wear a jammy <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i'm just wearing my jammies today i'm just kind of like lazy and yeah so so that's my top five favorite sewing projects that I ever did here on my channel. And let me know which one is your favorite. Um, if you haven't seen them, be sure to check them out. I haven't chit chat like this in a while. And if you notice, I have a new background. Um, I did that today and I didn't do a video because it was super easy. I just bought like two bushels of flowers that I got from Walmart like in it's they're only a dollar each and I cut cut it off and stick it on the wall and that's it I have a new background so I thought this year I'm going to kind of keep everything simple <laughs> I hope this is simple when I did the room tour um, last December right after that like two weeks after that I completely rearranged my office and my husband got me a new desk for Christmas and I'm absolutely loving it because everything is like white and I love it. Makes me inspired and refreshed and, and something like that. I just want to quickly say thank you to all of you guys who watch my videos. I know I have a lot of unsubscribed viewers. It, it's okay. Um, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to but if you subscribe you're not gonna get spam or anything actually it's just like you will just get notification whenever i post a new video so that's it you guys and i hope you like this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe we'll leave the link in the description box below and all the all the projects that I featured today, I'm going to have that there as well. So if you haven't watched them, if you haven't seen them, you can check it out. I've been posting a sewing video every single Friday. Like last year, I didn't miss any Friday. I just want to say thank you again for um, supporting my channel, for just watching my videos and all the positive feedback. I totally appreciate it. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye!